Vincent van Gogh. Today we consider Vincent van Gogh to be one of the greatest and most influential painters of all time, but that wasn't the case when he was alive. Van Gogh's work received little to no recognition during his lifetime. His paintings were often described as too dark and lacking the bright lightness seen in the Impressionist paintings of the time. Van Gogh produced more than 900 paintings during his lifetime, but only sold one painting, Red Vingerard at Arles. After Van Gogh committed suicide, his brother's wife collected his artwork and letters to make sure his work was recognized. Domenicos el Greco The Greek painter, sculptor and architect was a major influence in the post-Byzantine art movement, but was highly underappreciated during his lifetime. El Greco was a truly unique artist and one who never belonged to any conventional school. El Greco's contemporaries found his dramatic and imaginative work to be puzzling. Critics called him a mad painter and considered his expressionistic style to be a sign of his insanity. It wasn't until the 20th century that El Greco received recognition for his fantastic work and artistic influence. George Pilsara. George Pilsara was a French post-impressionist painter who is best known for his painting a Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Lake. Saurat was a trend-setting artist who took a scientific approach to painting by using colors to confer certain emotions and feelings of harmony. He created a work by based on certain techniques using lines, various dark, warm, and cold colors at different intensity levels. Saurat even developed Poetician and painting technique that uses small dots to form a large image, which was widely ridiculed by critics. It wasn't until Julia Margaret Cameron. Julia Margaret Cameron was a British photographer who was known for her beautiful and Turian entertainment and celebrity photographs. Cameron had an important influence of modern photography, specifically for her closely cropped portraits, but her work wasn't always appraised. During her time, Cameron's style was often rejected and criticized. It wasn't until 1948, well after her death, that her photography got noticed and her portraits were praised. Henry Larger. Henry Larger was an American writer and artist who is best known for his drawings, watercolor paintings, and fantasy literature. Larger's most famous piece of words is his fantasy manuscript, titled The Story of the Vivian Girls, in what is known as the Rams of the Unreal, of the Glandenko Angelinian war storm caused by the Child Slave Rebellion. However, his whimsical folk art did not garner much attention during his lifetime. The reclusive artist was self-taught, and his contemporary style wasn't always appreciated or recognized. After his death, Darger's work was praised for its composition and brilliant use of colors. He is now considered to be the most famous outsider artist of all time. Paul Gauguin Paul Gauguin was an influential 19th century French post-impressionist artist who was not well appreciated until his death. Gauguin was later recognized for his experimental use of colors and synthetic style that was distinguishably different from impressionism. His work was influential to the French avant-garde and many modern artists such as Pablo Picasso, Henry Matisse, and Arthur Frank Matthews. After his death, many of his paintings were in the possession of Russian collector Sergei Chukin. Although his paintings are rarely for sale, they could sell for as much as 39.2 million per piece.
Claire de Monet. Claude Monet may have been the learner of the impressive moment and is one of the greatest painters of our time. But his young style and philosophy wasn't always well understood or well liked. Monet broke the mold when he became paint natural and landscapes using short brush strokes and light colors. His work and other impressionist paintings were rejected by society and ear exhibition because I went against the traditional style and method of painting. Impressionism continued to live on past Monet, that and the set to foundation for post impressionists. Paul Tech. Paul Tech was a painter, sculptor, and installation artist who became best known for his best art sculptures and installations that were made to look like meat and talk popular in Europe. But Tech is eager to draw visitors to this exhibition in the USA. After Tech died of AIDS in 1009. Uh, 8 8. He has slowly but surely gained appreciation in America for his UK sculptures and artistic charm.